Okay, go. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to 303 Streets. My name is Brandon Lechuga, and uh, today we're gonna be. Do I'm gonna show you really quick how it is, how easy it is to fix the taillights on a trailer. So we actually took this to Moab, towed our UTV, and both blinkers went out and both brake lights went out. So it really wasn't good. Um, I'll show you. This one's still currently out. So I'll show you old versus new. As you can see, it doesn't work. And there's a new one. So it's LED. Um, it's the blinker. It's the whole kit that came in one. I think these were only $16 on Amazon. Uh, I put it in there kind of crappily right now, so I'm going to adjust it and fix it. But I'm going to show you really quick how to take this out and how you can uh, fix your brake lights if yours go out. So the bad part about this, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm actually going to unplug it. <coughs> ah, I think I'm choking on the bug. <clears throat> uh, the bad thing about this is um, both my brake lights did go out. And uh, it actually wasn't registering the trailer at all. So on the way home, we didn't have brake lights on this. We didn't have blinkers, nothing. So that was really bad. So um, really quick, here's the kit. It comes with a, a new rubber grommet to hold in place on the trailer. And it comes with a new wiring kit to get it out. You just pinch right here, pull. So you'll rewire it just how it's wired in there right now. So I'll show you how to get that out really quick. So if you come down to your tail, as you can see, it's not sitting evenly right now. That's because I took it out a while ago and didn't put it back evenly, but you can always adjust it push it in as far as you want on both sides stuff like that so you just kind of pinch the top and the bottom kind of just wiggle it out so it comes out and like i said this is the wire kit we're going to replace it completely so you unplug it here's the old light here's the new light um these will fit these are six inch ones and again they're led versus just one so it's a lot nicer um we're going to take out the old grommet or not i don't know why i keep calling it grommet gasket the tail light gasket and I'm going to grab my drill really quick. So you're going to just take it out and put it back in the way it's wired up right now. So I'll have her scoot in. So as you can see on this one, the red is, and again, I'm going to have my wire kit already kind of ready and completely unattached from the light. So it looks like red's going to yellow. So we'll come over here take off the red it's really this one's really twined in there um and again it's usually good just to redo everything the wiring kit not just the light so um i would recommend if your lights go out just do everything because it might be the wiring kit it might be the light it might be both um you never know what it could be so i recommend just getting a kit that already comes with it all so on this one again like i said we're going red to yellow Make sure that's on there. It's on there nice and good. And it looks like uh, black and yellow and black. So that must be the ground. We're going to this one. So it looks like the black is going here. So we'll just untwine it. They're really twined in there pretty good. These are the original and we bought these um, that came with the trailer. So all this came with the trailer, you know, however many years ago, which I think we bought this trailer Oh shoot, how many years ago? At least like seven. 2015 is mm -hmm. when we got all this. So these have never been changed. So we're doing it now because nothing was working. And then the white is always gonna be grounded to the vehicle. It's grounded up here and it's grounded in the front of the trailer. So again, you wanna be careful because you do have other wires that are attached to this. So when I'm trying to take this out, I wanna be careful. Looks like I need to do a little bit more. Okay, it's kind of spinning now. So it's kind of in there. Oh, there went my bit. Anyways, again, you're just gonna take this out, take off the old one. And in this instance, the old one is touching the bolt first. So we're gonna do it the exact same way we took it off. So just remember, however you take yours off, put it back on the exact same way. So now I'll come back over here, screw this in. Okay, so now we're all together. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little rubber gasket, 
you're gonna see that it has grooves. So that's where it's gonna sit on the lip. All these grooves will line up with that. So we'll come in, kinda force it on. As you can see, it pops on kind of. You can kinda hear it click in. And again, it's not gonna be perfect right now because I'm just trying to do it really quick to kind of show you guys. Take a new light, plug it in. Make sure it's lined up properly. <laughs> I guess that might help. All right, tuck in the wires to make sure you don't pinch them. Don't wanna pinch the wires and possibly cut them or anything like that. So we're gonna make sure it's all in there. And then again, here's the fun part, trying to get the light to go back in and sit evenly. So again, you just want to go nice and slow because you don't want to over uh, push it in or oh, see, it kind of went a little too far on that side. All right. Oh, and as you can see, that's what happens when you over push it. So now I'm going to have to take it, it all out again and then uh, straighten it out. But we're going to just see if it if that fixed our issue that we were having. And as you can see, that fixed it. The blinker's working now. Um, I'm gonna test the brake lights. My wife will tell me if the lights light up when I put my foot on the brake. Okay, and she gave me the, the oh, video. No. Sorry about that. The video connected to my car, so it kind of stops and starts it. But um, anyways, yeah, so the blinker works now. We're gonna test. Can we test the brakes? Yes. Okay, so obviously the brakes work now too. But um, so again, quick story short, the car is now registering the, the trailer. Like I said, it wasn't early on the way back from Moab, so I didn't know if it was in tow mode or if it was working at all. But um, good news is now the car is registering saying, hey, your rear sensors on your bumper aren't working anymore because of the trailer. So again, that being said, everything is good to go. There's actually nothing wrong with the Bronco, which is good. <laughs> um, and yeah, these are some new, you know, LED brake lights and blinkers for the trailer. Super easy, super to, uh, simple to install. So if you're thinking about upgrading your trailer to LEDs and you don't want these basic lights anymore, um, really simple, really easy. And I actually bought this kit on Amazon. So I, if you want, I'll add the link into the comments and check it out. Thank you for watching 303 Streets though. If you haven't already, like, subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.